One of the great violin teachers of the 20th century, Konstantin Donis, was a tremendous proponent of the idea of finger independence, and he wrote several volumes of finger independence exercises, which are extremely difficult and also extremely systematic. I think the idea of finger independence is a little bit of a misnomer. After all, our four fingers are connected to each other on the same hand, and third and fourth finger especially share a tendon. I think really the best we can hope for in violin playing is a sense of finger dependence, an understanding of how we can use each of the fingers to help each other and uh, give the impression of independence. Here are a couple of simple exercises we can do to increase your sense of left hand coordination, to increase uh, the impression of finger independence. I'll place all four fingers down on any string, but I'm going to play it on the G string. Uh, no bow. And I want to practice lifting and dropping my first finger. How about lifting and dropping my second finger, my third finger, and fourth finger. Okay, next step. Let's try lifting alternate fingers. How about one and four? How about one and three? How about fingers one and two? Fingers two and four? Two and three? And three and four? That's the most challenging for me. We can also try alternating more than one finger at a time, like one, two, and three, four. Or one, three, and two, four. We can try alternating one finger and three other fingers. And finally, we could try lifting all four fingers and placing those. If you have any trouble performing these exercises, you should consider adding this to your daily warm-up, uh, maybe spending about two or three minutes on these every day.